Oh, we don't got the 30 second countdown. <laughs> okay. oh, sorry. I, I thought we were going to have that amazing. Yeah, that. Sure, that, it was pretty cool. It. I mean, no, I know we're live, but I mean, <laughs> hey, yeah. Let's do a 30 second. All Give me right. time, time to share it out. Yeah. That's not bad. I got I got about thirty groups in thirty seconds. We are live. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna turn down my turn down my phone. It's starting to <laughs> play back. Just do leg, 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 leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, is anybody else hearing it? Hey, don't turn down your phone. <laughs> it's your phone, Dave. Uh, so anyone that wants, as oh, you guys are popping funny. on, um, if you guys want to share this out to any groups, they will they will be able to see this in real time, as we're streaming this live. So any place that you share it, I will be able to see their comments. I believe um, from last time, I'm pretty sure that yeah, that worked out pretty well. Yeah. Um... You have a pretty cool setup. So you got like the YouTube, the Facebook, and uh, everything. Whenever they ask a question, it'll pop right up, right? Mm -hmm. So whether you're joining us on any one of our Facebooks, any one of our um, – I think it's only going to my two YouTube right now. I think it could only do one at, at a time um, without hacking your account, David. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, man. Uh, That's it's going to be fun. We've had some pretty fun experiences, I got to say. Like, wow. I know. Holy smokes. It's been nuts. Thanks for having me on I your know. show, by the way. I, well, it's not really my show. It's, it's <laughs> just made it up. And I'm like, hey, let's do this. Um, Isn't it a show? I thought you had a show. I could have sworn. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new show. It must maybe the first episode, so, right? It's still a no, show. Yep. yep. <laughs> Ask uh, the universe. I thought it was the thing. I swear. Ask I the universe anything, anything, anything. Ask the universe. <laughs> well, uh, put a little echo in there. Um, we'll wait for people to, to hop on, you know, as this kind of gets shared out. Um, this is our well, Ask the Universe Anything oh. segment. <laughs> um, I think that I did this with another person like live, like when we were in person and it was it was a hit. I just did it in a, in a private group, but I think we answered like 80 questions in the course of like two hours and um, try to keep your questions to stuff that's not personal. Uh, you can ask personal questions, but I won't ask David. <laughs> so try to keep them to things that other people can benefit from um, because there are a lot of people watching this and a lot of um, a lot of people that can gain insight and knowledge from this information. So just like anything, uh, for sure. take take what resonates with you. No one can tell you what to think, what to believe. Take what works for you, what resonates with you, and leave the rest. You know, everyone has their own truth. This is just one perspective. Um, just keep that in mind as we're going through this. But you will find that there is a lot of insight, a lot of valuable information coming through this. Um, when I first started doing this work, I've had questions I've had my entire life that were answered in the first like couple weeks of doing this, and nothing contradicted itself. So, a lot of good information coming through. Okay. So, up. David, do you wanna you uh, do you wanna give a little plug for your master class that just kind of launched? So oh yeah. On? It was the coolest two and a half months out like ever. Like uh, it was the end of last year. And I was guided to start channeling master consciousness. Like, while well, they said the masters, I'm like, I'm like, like, what do you mean? Like who? Like Yeshua or Buddha? They're like, well, master consciousness, channel the master consciousness. And because the masters are in the Christ consciousness light, the, the master consciousness light. And uh, so I start zero and tensions i chat i don't plan anything right everything's 100 percent channeled on the spot because you know you get in the, you get in the way of divine yeah. knowledge and you start just like if you start worrying about what's going to come through and like if you're this or that and then you're like oh no am i going to be prepared or not uh, you could block potentially like just pure uh, information flow although some people get it in stages which is fine too but uh, right on the spot 
so it was, it was like every week there's a class and uh, it was the most amazing journey. I could have never have imagined that they would take us from like a, like a step one to a step 10 like that. Like it, it, when you look at it from a step 10 backwards, it makes complete sense. Like if you've, if you've done all the shadow work yourself and you've done all this work and, you're, and you've gone through some of these things, it's, it makes complete sense. Um, but yeah, it's a master's journey. Um, there's, uh, I'll, I'll put the co a link in the comments or something if anybody's interested. And there's, a, it, it's, uh, it takes you from Christ Jane, your, your, your heart, Christ, your consciousness through to retrieving soul fragments, clearing your ancestral lines. It introduces amazing concepts like data points is like people like, oh, what's, what do you mean data point? Um, but there's data points, um, Imagine yourself like a code. Imagine yourself like a computer, right? In the simulation, having the soul experience. So a data point would be a store of either higher or lower consciousness, right? So when, that we were in this one realm where, where Yeshua was, and uh, one of the universal uh, guardians of, uh, of Earth said, what do you notice about him? And I was like, I'm tuning in, and I'm like, he's got data points. And then uh, he goes, but I'm like, what are they? right and then but it's programmable consciousness points in your energy so uh -huh. we learned how to program higher consciousness in these data points so you can basically just think of it and boof the energies of it what what you've programmed it to come in so it, it works for energy clearing shielding uh it works for tapping into uh, certain vibrations um I even have one for this new universal one that I have. I just go universal one, poof, that point. And I have all the heart, the, the, the mind, body, soul, or soul, mother, father, God, energies all running just like quickly because it's stored in the data point, right? Just like that. Oh. So the data points are just amazing, amazing. So you learn all about data points and you program a bunch of data points. Uh, you go on to the Stargate activations for in your energetic bodies. We travel through to other universes. Like it's just, uh, there's a really cool one with Yeshua. He was channeling, like I was channeling Yeshua probably for like half an hour. It's just pure, mm -hmm. amazing, high content channeling um, in one of the episodes. <clears throat> but um, so yeah, there it's, it was quite the journey. Um, really expanded really expanded from it and, uh, it's amazing yeah yeah so guys check out check out that master class um if you get a chance i know you have some of the stuff up but don't you on your on your page and stuff for people to check out some of the highlights and stuff yeah yeah i'll just throw it into the comments at the end or something i'll just throw a link there right. if anybody's right, interested yeah perfect thanks for uh talking about it it's pretty exciting yeah it, it is like yeah two and a half months because a lot, I, of, I, lot of things went into that, so so you know. many free videos, content around it, and stuff like inner child healing, uh, mm -hmm. joy creation, all this stuff that you get for free. How to warm up, how to tune in, all this stuff um, that's free. So that's uh, so we had to get ready for it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, man. Well, great having you here, David. So what we're going to be doing in this segment, like I mentioned, um, we are going to be taking questions. Any questions you have, really nothing is off limits. Um, I can't even understand the answers I'm getting now. <laughs> like, I think, the, I think the last time I asked about time, uh, it was like, well, if everything's happening now, um, you know, if there's no past, no future, if we're all in this now moment, didn't my mom have to have me before this moment now? And the answer was, well, it's actually your inability to understand the backward motion of forward moving events that creates the illusion of sequence and time. <laughs> it's so simple. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I can't even like grasp some of the stuff coming through, but um, it's just my inability to understand these complex concepts, but in this human experience. But, um, yeah, so any questions you have, really nothing's off limits. Keep them to uh, message or questions for the collective, not personal questions. Um, so, what I do is I do what I call quantum healing. I guide people in a deep state of trance to connect to their higher selves, their higher aspects of themselves, to get information about anything, really. Um, really, nothing's off limits. I see that higher self, that higher aspect is like part of you that stays connected to everything. And it is the part of you that um, really can see that higher point, vantage point. 
So uh, I've worked with I've worked with David in the past, so we do have kind of uh, rapport and everything like that. So um, I'm going to be using I can get him into a state of relaxation a lot easier because we've worked together in the past. So you just let me know when you're ready, David, and then we'll. Oh, okay. So we, we'll do that that way. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. Let's go. Ready. All right. All right. I'm just going to invite you to start with a couple big deep breaths. Big deep breath in. Big deep breath out and relax. Another big deep breath. Remember each time you exhale, you deepen your relaxation even further. One more big deep breath. And as you breathe out, you feel your body relax more and more and more. All right. Now in a moment, I'm going to use those words that we agreed upon to help you enter this beautiful, peaceful state of relaxation. Purple lightning. Purple lightning, deeper relaxed. Purple lightning, deeper relaxed. Purple lightning, deeper relaxed. Remember, each and every time I say those words that we agreed upon, you'll slip deeper and deeper into this beautiful, peaceful state of relaxation. Remember, those words are magic. Purple lightning, deeper relaxed. Purple lightning. Deeper relaxed. Now, I would like for you to imagine a beautiful ball of golden white light. A very beautiful thing to see. It glows and pulses and shimmers. And I want you to mentally place this white golden light completely around your body so that you now are completely surrounded by this beautiful ball of white golden light. This is your protection. This white golden light is a very powerful force it can protect against anything. It will remain around your body the entire time that we do this. Nothing can harm you mentally or physically. You are protected. You are safe. You know it and you feel it. And this light is like a magical bubble, a magical bubble that can transport you anywhere. As you become one with this magical bubble, it's almost as though you don't even have a body. As you become one with this magical bubble that can transport you anywhere. I'm asking the bubble to move and carry you to something they wanted to show you for the collective. Something they wanted to show or demonstrate. And you're there now. What's the first thing that you notice? <clears throat> Venus. Or about the Venus. Um... And the set, uh, 
I'm also seeing the rings of Saturn are vibrating high right now. Like a big, a big white light is over them. Um, uh, yeah, planetary upgrades. Uh, yeah, um, these rings. I'm just gonna go to them. It just feels like they're calling to me for some reason. Very high vibration. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tune into them. See what's going on. Oh. Venetians are doing something to these rings. They're calibrated in golden, golden frequencies. So I'm going to go back to Venus for a second here to see what this is all about. Okay. Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna. Uh, she's um, of the energies of Sophia, but she's her name's Rihanna. I'm just talking to her right now. Mm -hmm. So they're calibrating the rings for to bring about uh, faster changes on the Earth. Mm. The energies of the Lotus. Um, they worked with it in Lumeria timeline. The Lotus of the heart, the Lotus of the heart. Um, it's back then. Yeah, so they they had come to Earth before, back in the time of Lumeria, and introduce this. Uh, A flower of the heart. Okay, so I'm just asking her what she's doing with Saturn. Mm. Just tuning in. She's getting me to tune into uh, a group of them right now. En energetic beings. Uh, at least they look energetic. Maybe they're physical at a higher vibration. I'm not sure. This is a bigger than I thought here. See what they're doing. Is they're not just working with the Lotus, they're working with um, a variety of different uh, extraterrestrials, literally from every side 
is coming in and they're channeling in uh, energies to awaken genes from all the races. Um, so it's going through the rings mm. of Saturn and then how does that make its way to Earth? I'm wondering, I'm just going to ask her. How does it yeah. Spheres. Oh, the spheres. That's calibrating spheres within self. So as Saturn is getting calibrated, somehow this like as the planets or the spheres within self are related to the rings of Saturn. Um, so as they're calibrating these rings, it's changing the frequencies within us. It's a unique wave. It's a unique wave of vibrations. It kind of makes sense to me what like what how I was feeling last night. Mm. It was a different kind of a vibration that was coming through me. Can you explain that a little bit? For the people watching? It was very, like, much, like, wavy energy that was, um, it was like a ring. It was like a halo going over my energetic field and, and raising the vibration just, like, at every level of my energy. And... It was very different than all these other upgrades. So what what they are doing is they're awakening genes uh, at a collective level, which is very interesting, mm -hmm. very interesting. So they're using the planet. Well, Venus is working with the rings of Saturn. It's, it's vibrating at a very high frequency right now. There's so much light around the rings. I've seen them before. I've never seen them like this ever. They're very, they're ex extremely bright uh, and vibrating high. And as I'm tuning into them, as I'm sure everybody right now who's watching this is probably vibrating quite a bit as well, only because I'm tuning into the rings. Um, so that it'll be it'll be activating and awakening genes in people who are watching. As well for a hundred percent. This was what's happening here. There's, there's, there's literally um, uh, th thousands and thousands of ships that are working with the Venetians right now to make sure that this energy for gene awakening and ring alignment mm. is cohesive. Uh, it's interesting. What will people notice having these genes awoken? That they'll be able to do. They'll be able to remember more about their past. So it, it is going to trigger galactic records. Remembering, remembering a lot of the unity mind, remembering and dreams and what more. What do people need to do to integrate this? It's also activating their gifts. It's also activating mm. gifts that they had before. So they know they might people might just start getting really inspired to write down ideas, things that they've done in the past. They don't even know why they're writing the ideas down. It's just flowing in. The abundance of information is coming through right now. Um, it's going to feel somewhat overwhelming because so much information is going to be coming through. Uh, but you'll be able to discern what's best for you to work on. Uh,
it's just, it's basically like a time capsule of information that is getting sh thrown into the collective consciousness right now uh, of galactic origins stories uh, what do they have to do to integrate mm -hmm. observe it when it's coming in just observe it observe it don't question it so much just just let's just start observing it until you understand it more it'll be coming in in, in images in dreams in awareness you'll just be tuning into something Like the origins of Osiris. I'm... Who is who is Syrian? Who is Syrian who came down? Who came down? They were very much illuminated. Illuminated beings came down to Earth. Is this before? This is before Egypt. Mm. How could it be before Egypt? Oh. Hmm. Doing some kind of like uh, mineral collection and stuff. Corine, oh. corine, bedrock. This is land. What are they doing? They're working with crystals. Mm. Interesting. Big ones. Ones the size of people inside of like rock core. Um, it's these. Where is it? so much knowledge of the ley lines of the earth's energy grids and everything? There was barely any development on earth at this time mm. okay, sorry oh thank you for that all right now let's drift away from that scene we're drifting and floating away from that scene as you become deeper relaxed purple lightning Purple lightning. Purple lightning. Purple lightning. Deeper relaxed. May I speak to the highest aspect of David, please? As you know, we have a bunch of questions that people had asked. One of the questions, what is those, what is something those can do to help the collective right now? What can be done to help the collective right now? It is, to, it is to create visions of peace, the visions of peace on the planet, to feel the peace in your heart, to be at peace. And as you do this, it will shift the collective consciousness to be at peace. 
Many are feeling unsettled. Many are feeling insecure because they do not know how to react to all the tragedies that are happening from pointing fingers to being scared. There's a, a wide array of different emotions that are circling through in a collective fear. So it's best to move past this by focusing on peace within your heart and creating visions of peace for the collective. Your thoughts will carry the vibrations that will soothe the hearts all around the world. The power of compassion and, and prayer through your words does not have to be a prayer to God. It could be a prayer for the collective. Mm. Praying for the peace in their hearts. And just praying for the love to fill their lives. And then the intelligence of the system listens The power of love is heard above all, answered first. Above all who ask for, th for things for themselves will be lowered on being answered than those who ask for peace in the hearts of the collective. Those will be answered first. And it is what is needed most. Thank you for explaining that. The next question is about Atlantis. Um, when it will rise again, and more importantly, what light workers need to do to prepare. Let's get ready for, for big waves. They'll be coming throughout many areas of, of the world. Um, Japan will be must not be scared. You must not fear. For those who have chosen this path to be in the lines to be in the lines of force are given uh, a first right in the kingdom of heaven. They will be welcomed by many. It's not to worry. It is peace is chosen by them. No one has to fear this. Uh, no one needs to know where there will be impacts. They are giving details. It is in the Pacific. Uh, it, will, it will occur very fast. like an explosion of light that hits the surface of the ocean and it creates like a tsunami, an earthquake. And 
Uh, Atlantis will rise. Thank you for explaining that. The next question was how how can we support and nurture the children who have recently incarnated on Earth? Who are coming in that holds such light and vibration? By being the example. Look at them with your child eyes, with your laughter, with your warm heart. Don't judge them. Inspire them. Just take them to places, historical sites. They'll like the artifacts. They'll like seeing history. But they, they enjoy having fun. They're highly intelligent. These ones carry a lot of ancient knowledge, the high vibrations. They're sensitive. They are coming from higher frequencies. So it'll be difficult for them to adjust. They'll need support in, in, in laughter, in fun, in being more of a child, not serious, not serious. But seriousness carries by the vibrations of unpleasant tree when you're a child. You want to play, so, so just play with them and, and nurture them and, and give them that love. They need, they need the love the most. They need love and affection all of the time. Love them as often as, and as much as you can. They need it. It, it powers them. Love powers them. They're powered by love. So love, loving them is nurturing them and giving them the strength to feel secure and to be okay on such a low vibrational planet for they are from such higher vibrations. Thank you for that as well. Um, where are we with regards to New Earth and the frequency shifting? Just for looking for an update, I guess. The New Earth, it is here. Mm. The frequencies are shifting to help you to assimilate the higher energies and vibrations of self to help you to align and attune to what is already here. You'll find as the collective shifts and awakens as they are being attuned to these higher frequencies as you are shifting they are shifting consciousness shifts there are three big shifts happening over the next few years uh, there's one in the months ahead uh, uh, this is, it is, it is the, uh, it is the uh, Atlantis rising, this Atlantis rising, just one second. Okay, where were we with that question that we were talking about? We were talking about the frequency shifts, how New Earth was already here. Yeah, June. How, uh, how can August. people adjust for these? Oh, yeah, go ahead. You can put, sorry. It's closer to July. It's closer to July. Atlantis rises. Um... And there will be a big energy as well 
in August. There'll be two two really big shifts this year. In one in June and one in August. Uh, there's flooding. There's flooding. Uh, um, you'll be feeling a rapid acceleration in all your energies. You think you are feeling a lot right now? It gets bigger. The energy moves faster. You become more knowing. More knowing of things that you had no idea that you know. Realizing your dreams manifesting quicker out of thin air. Some will advance so fast. They'll be able to pull out what they want out of air. Mm. From it being there, from them realizing it, it's already there. So they just take it. These are the things you're going to come to understand about consciousness and reality creation. Everything that you have, everything that you can want, it's already there. It's just simply you, molecules and atoms rearranged. Mm. It's like a rock. It contains so many atoms. You can rearrange these to create food or gold. They all have atomic structures. It's relative to the atomic frequencies of the matter, you rearrange the atoms and the frequencies to match that of your creation. And then it is created through thought, will, and faith. Mm. Um, Can you expand upon that and give some insight to David as to those God particles and how they've changed? If you want more information, you can check out David's post. But what was David seeing? What's all changing? A lot happening. The frequencies are widening. The energy is expanding to take on more light. He is seeing a shift. A shift in the prana energies and the energies of source that are around everybody. These energies are carrying the data of higher consciousness. They're helping to lift up the subtle vibrations within everyone's energy structures. They listen and they respond faster, re-accelerating the ascension timeline. As they are responding faster to you, you will manifest faster in this reality. It was a choice to accelerate the ascension as you are ready for it. The timelines have merged into a single timeline, all moving ahead in a single trajectory on the, on the planetary ascension. Things are going to get very interesting. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, thank you. The... The next question was um, about many male people dying in this person's life, but they're wondering if this is happening in other circles and what's all happening right now with people transitioning, I guess. There have been some who have done enough to ascend that they completed their missions and at a higher self level they've chosen to opt out at this point which is is okay it's not wrong or bad they're not descending some some are are leaving 
just to go on, on new uh, adventures. It's, it is happening a lot around the planet. There are many people leaving. The population is aging. It is relative to the aging population as well as there are other conditions of experimental uh, pharmaceuticals that people have been ingesting that mm. could cause certain complications with hearts. It is very important to look at why it is happening to hearts. Mm. The studies that are coming out to support to take aspirin. Aspirin will be very beneficial as it will prevent blood clotting in the hearts from both the biological weapon that was created as well as the vaccines that people are taking because it contains the same components as the weapon that creates the blood clots in the heart. So it is important to take the aspirin. I will assist Thank many people just an aspirin, Thank you. an aspirin a day. Nice. Um, the next question was, why are so many, I'm guessing, portals operating recently? What's going on? The whole entire <laughs> universe is opening up the gateways into other universes. The shifts, the platonic rings of Saturn are all expanding the vibrations between the celestials. They are expanding. They all are expanding. Everything is shifting. It's not just Earth. It is the entire solar system. It is all the vibrations and realities and dimensions within this universal structure. It's not just Earth. Everything is opening. All, all your aspects are opening. All your aspects are expanding. So new portals are being created from the expansion, from the opening of all. Gaia, the magnetosphere, the magnetic sphere is rapidly accelerating. It is increasing and it is shifting. Shifts within the pole are inevitably going to occur. The planets are ascending. The universe is pluralized, not just this one, are ascending. So as all is expanding, it, in, it is all connected. It all exists within you. So you new portals of yourself are opening. New portals that you have not been familiar with within a long time. You have not been familiar with these portals since at least Atlantis or Lumeria. Some have played a little bit in early Egypt in these portals. Some have played a little bit in Jerusalem in these portals. Some have played a little bit in India in these portals of self. The dimensions of self are opening up you are realizing all is within you. You are working with your ancient ancestors, your aspects, all within you. These portals are opening up. These energies are around you, and you are working with them, understanding them, understanding their frequency, understanding their love, speaking to your past, speaking to your future, and speaking to your presence, present realities across on many dimensions. So it appears that all these portals are opening up. In fact, it is you are opening up to all that you are. And you are working with more of the energies that you had worked with a very long time ago. It is all coming back to you. You are expanding into your higher self, into your God self into your all-knowing. This is a time of expansion into the all-knowing, into your all-seeing. You'll become all-seeing. This is a journey. And it is known to you. Many of you have done this before. 
so it's not there are some new portals in the universes and in the galaxies that have opened but you are opening every single day and you're going to continue to open you don't have a choice all is ascending all is expanding and these energies are going to keep increasing you're going to keep expanding and opening up to become all knowing it is what is occurring thank you for that one um the next question is whether or not we can use a process like this what i refer to as quantum healing with your, with what you're familiar with um to reduce uh issues in childbirth make it easier for mothers to feel less pain can you explain that as we're shifting into these higher states of consciousness It's a pleasure when you when you're focusing on more joy in your mind it creates a serotonin release in your energy that reduces pain. Focus more on the pleasure and less on the pain. It is a state of awareness. Placing your awareness on the pleasure will reduce the pain. I mean, it will be difficult in childbirth because you are thinking of many things. You are thinking of the child coming out. You are thinking of the pain of the expanding urethra. You are th thinking of like a lot of things in the hospital. Uh, it can be difficult just to think of joy. So if you practice beforehand, before giving birth, to focus on moments of joy, things that make you extremely happy and bliss. You focus on these states and bring them in with you to the hospital. Bring them in with you to the awareness. Keep focusing on them, focusing your attention on them, and keep your peripherals on everything else. But keep your main focus on the joy energies so we'll release the serotonin the pleasure in the brain that will run through um, and then there's also different that is the natural way if you don't want to take the medicines to alleviate pain in the hospitals thank you the next question is about automatic writing is it possible to channel certain people to receive their knowledge like a specific person or entity, and how to do that. So you tune to their frequency. It is, I'll have an energy signature. When you think of them, if you know, if you know who they are, you can attune to them with your thoughts. You can set intentions that you're gonna channel that being or that frequency of, of that being and automatically write when you are connected when you are connecting feel a connection between you and who you want to channel before you automatically write feel that energy build up between the two of you allow it to create a field around you and then you're just going to be in that energy and then let go of your mind surrender to the energy and begin to write the messages without thought just allow the energy moving your hands to write the words do not give it thought you're surrendering to the energy and the connection between you and who you're channeling 
Thank you again. Um, this is kind of along the same lines of a question that was asked earlier, but what's the most important thing we can do for ourselves to help with a 5D shift? Stay centered on, on your path. Do not focus on the news. Do not focus on fear. Do not focus on division. Do not argue with people. Do not... If it is critical, if a house decision, of a, of, a, of a life moment that has to be addressed, uh, of, of standing up for a boundary, um, of not, you're not, a, you're not just going to let an important moment not be dealt with. If there's a boundary involved, of course, you would deal with the critical moments. But in generalities, between friends and families and office colleagues. This does not participate in the drama against others. Do not talk about others behind their back. Do not be confrontational to colleagues about your opinion or their opinion. It doesn't matter. The shift faster to stay in your heart, stay in your center, Avoid conflicting ideas between two or, or more people or if other people are having conflicting arguments or discussions, just stay out of it. You do not get need to get involved in it. You might want to be tempted to say something and interject, but then you're taking on their energies and it's not assisting you. So all, all will shift faster if everybody stays on their path in their heart and avoids any kind of fear or divisional energies. It just keeps on being in the energies of love. Excellent. Thank you so much. When will uh, extraterrestrials make themselves known? Already are. <laughs> they already are. They are everywhere. There are a million ships that are throughout the Earth hemispheres and in the celestials orbiting around Earth. There are even many ships within Earth, uh, through Earth, in inner Earth. There are fleets. Their beings, the Agarthans, they are assisting. They are reaching out and connecting with many star seeds already. Uh, physical contact has begun. It has started. It will continue, and it will escalate. Um, can you explain about uh, cryptids? Uh, those animals that aren't described by scientific literature are those multi-dimensional beings such as like Sasquatch and things like that yeah you'll you'll start to see more of them they're not far off the fifth dimensional frequency so um, they'll become easier to see in the months and year ahead uh, they're they're they are on the plane. They're they're just at a higher, a little higher frequency. They're not. They're not to interfere. They're not to interfere. If they interfere, they will vibrate lower. They, they wish. They wish for their privacy. They wish for. Love. They wish for love. For others. They shifted higher when others shifted lower. They chose to be in a higher state to a higher frequency, so they do not disturb others in lower frequencies. It will lower their frequency. Yes. I see. Okay. Thank you. Um, what can we expect for 2022 other than the things we've talked about with the frequency shifts and stuff like that? Uh, 
lots lots of contact towards the end of the year with with extraterrestrials and people in the starseed communities is going to some will be taken some will be taken on a galactic adventures away from earth um, some will be working with inside of communities they'll be reaching out so the extraterrestrial contact this year it's going to be unlike the years before for now with the frequencies to where they are it is easier some more are vibrating higher and when they are vibrating higher they do not bring fear they do not project fear and so it is safe for those in the vibrations of love to visit it's safe for fear won't be projected is important for development of humanity to be in states of love it is easier for the all the ET races to make contact they do not want to create fear and they do not want fear to fear to be projected onto them or they are also sensitive they do not want to create a timeline of ripples and entanglements for it would create a karmic cord an entanglement between them and the ones on earth so they are very careful not to overstep and they view and they monitor timelines and they model them in simulation and they'll actually watch them play out and then there's calculations done and when they know that there, there is no error margin of error for there to be a fear on the human or a projection onto them and it is safe then they come it is all calculated and planned well ahead of time they know well ahead of time maybe for the person who gets contacted they even know at some cases they know years ahead years ahead of when they're going to be making contact they're very attuned yeah oh, i love that insight thank you um other than the things we've talked about what is the most important thing to benefit our expansion going forward It will it will it will be joy it will be creating joy in your lives just enough of the world that is not living in fields of love joy is a field of love so it is important to be doing that but what makes you happy moments with spending with your family moments with going on adventures it's just listen to your heart maybe you wanted to go and rent a camper and get away for a weekend and replicate those moments whatever it is stay in the joy fields the joy fields will will make contact with the extraterrestrials easier the joy fields will lift your vibrations and the joy fields will increase your connections to all your aspects it's, it's coming to you these great joy energies these great love expansions but it is to be in them continue to be in those fields do not separate when you go into the fields of division and fear and chaos it lowers your vibrational states and your mental peace it is not healthy especially with all these energies that are going to be coming in so um, in other words you'll be at peace you'll not be in conflict 
Mm. And it's going to be very important to be at peace in your heart this year with everything that is going on and things that are going to happen. When you are at peace, you won't be affected so much by a lot of the external events that take place, that are taking place, and that will bring about fear, that will lower your vibration, that will create division within yourself. You do not need that. You do not recommend playing in that because it is lower states of consciousness. Thank you. Um, will we be able to hear us that heal ourselves more effectively and more rapidly with this knowing the things that we're there, discussing today? Or even just with the shifts that are happening, the energy that's expanded, that is all around, it is responding to your thoughts more. So your healing abilities have doubled the potential. The potential for your healing abilities have already doubled overnight. Overnight, the energies have changed that much. Gary, when you are focusing on the healing, you have to double the ability. You can completely heal yourself. As Matt knows, Matt is aware that you can completely heal yourself. Um, it is all possible, and more and more people are going to be tapping into these great healing Yes, being able to heal themselves, being able to heal others, uh, being masters on the earth. It is happening. There are so many being called to assist humanity to be as Yeshua was, as the Buddha was, as Saint Germain was. It does not have to be that extravagant. The gifts. Are, everybody has the gifts. Everybody will be healing themselves eventually. Everyone will be masters. It's. It will be easy. They will see it. They will believe it. They will also do what other people are doing, as like what Matt is doing. There will be other practitioners who will show other people how to heal themselves. There will be other healers who show other people how to heal themselves. The earth will be a much better place, much better place soon. Thank you again. Um, what are identical twins in this life? What is their purpose? Why do they come together? To experience is uh, some are twin flames, some are soul family. They are just wanted to play. They are very close souls. They have eternities of time in most cases. Sometimes it is the same soul split. Mm -hmm. It depends. But it is always a close, a special bond an unbreakable connection. They always know. They always know for they are closer than most. They are like twin flames or twin souls. And they are closer though. They are closer. They are like the same soul split. They're not always the same soul, but that is the closeness that they have. Wow. All right, the next question is about light language. Are all the kinds of light language frequencies beneficial? You know, there's so many codes, it comes in so fast, it's difficult to retain everything. Are all these things positive and beneficial? Light language is beneficial in all forms, and the intentions are of love. And the intentions are of purity. If somebody is channeling light language and they're angry, they may be channeling mm -hmm. energies that are angry, not happy. So it's important to be channeling energies when you're neutral or in an elevated state of consciousness. 
That is the importance. The intentions is everything. When you are intending to channel in angelic frequencies, you are channeling in angelic frequencies. When you're intending to channel in light language from Lyra or light language from Andromeda, you are channeling that in. Channeling in. Usually people are channeling in DNA codes. Usually people are channeling in gifts and expansions. These are your intentions. This is what you're channeling in. And when you're in elevated states and neutral, it's very beneficial, always beneficial with your intentions. But if you're in a negative state, do not channel. It's not healthy. Just wait until you're in a better mood. Thank you. All right. Um, the next question is, how does a person figure out their mission in this time period? What are the signs to look for? How do you know you're on the right track? This is a question that many people doubt themselves, doubt their abilities, doubt their purpose. And so they don't open their eyes to possibilities. The possibilities are unlimited. The purpose can be found in everything. It is not important to know a ending as it is important to create a beginning and in finding in a moment that will bring you joy is the first step finding a passion or a pursuit that brings happiness is the first step and to recreate moments where you are doing things that are bringing you happiness is what matters the ending will include all of the moments that brought you this happiness. It will include all those moments that you were excited for. When you were excited to wake up and do these things. You, you're excited to do this. Eventually, you're doing things that you're excited about. And in some cases, you're doing things that you're excited about and getting compensated for it and being supported by it. So it is to figure out ways, if this is what you want to do for your life, to figure out ways to be supported, to use your gifts in ways that bring you happiness, that you can monetize in a way to be supported. It is to use your imagination, to see other people who are doing things that are similar to the things that you like doing, the things that you have found that you enjoy, and then watch what the other people are doing and how are they being supported, how what are they doing to be supported, and then you have an idea of things that you can do that they are doing, but in your way, that it's in your way, and it's what you're doing and it's making you happy. So you get ideas, the main thing is, you're doing things that are making you happy, that are making you excited, and you're finding ways to monetize it and be supported by it. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Um, can you tell what's happening with the world's flowers? There's an abundance of flowers and increased pollen. What's going on? Flowers, flower energies. Gaia have been expanding. There's going to be new species coming on that you haven't seen. They are there. You cannot see them because they're at a higher frequencies. So there's going to be more that is going to be coming into uh, awareness that has been there. But as your frequency is raising, you'll be able to see these things. They'll be manifesting at a collective frequency. See, as all, as all at a collective frequency are shifting, it raises the frequency of the flowers, it raises the frequency of the plants, it raises the frequency of the, of, of the animal species, of the species, and the oceans. And so there will be new, there will be new breeds, new animals, and new flowers all throughout in the higher frequencies of Earth. 
they they ha they are existing already, but more and more are becoming aware as the f frequency of the collective is raising up. You be then become into a frequency where these are becoming into your awareness again. Mm. Thank you for explaining that as well. The next uh, uh, question was about um, why are governments on Earth hiding sightings of ETs and UFOs right now? They have been subject to a control program. See, it is not easy for them. They've been leveraged through technology, but there, there's been a governance that they have had and they are being controlled by specific ETs. See, the ones who have been controlling here on the planet and as such, there is information that will never be disclosed in the current government, the current elites that are operating the governments. There are specific individuals that are not even humans that are controlling many groups of government. Many secrets working with extraterrestrials in different dimensions and technology and time, but at lower frequencies, at frequencies of power, at frequencies of dominance, not at frequencies of expanded love. So they are limited. They are limited. But they are trying to control still. They are trying to control the knowledge. They are trying to control the directions of time. But it is not in their control, and they are losing control. And they are being monitored, and they are being monitored by the higher vibrational beings who do allow for them to make specific decisions on their own, but there's a control on not affecting the free will of humans. So they have to use mind manipulation techniques in order to control. They're not allowed to directly intervene. It has to be by choice. So they use the media to create illusion so that people choose, and then they're persuaded to do things that they normally would not do in order for the agendas and the control and manipulations. But this is all coming to an end. This is all coming to an end because all is shifting vibrationally. And these beings who have taken the Earth hostage have been evacuated for the most part. There are a few still. Most have been evacuated, taken to mm. other planets or to other systems. The liberation of Earth is at hand. It has been a slow process. It has not been easy. For there had to have been a governance in place with these extraterrestrials who have agreed to ascend when we have been working with many of the generals, many of the commanders in the fourth dimension, the third dimension extraterrestrial who have been working with the technologies on Earth and in Earth. And they've been working and understanding more. They've been exploring, but there is now a new leadership. There is now a new organizational structure in the governments that is coming from higher advanced beings. So we are shaping releases of information and it is happening. It's just taking some time uh, for a, an agreement and a governance between all who are involved. Mm. So that is not a systematical control, it is a liberation of consciousness, the liberation of the species of people on Earth. That is what is happening. It has shifted from 
a control to a liberation. So. Thank you. Um, when we were bringing that energy in, that planetary energy, um, apparently a M class flare <laughs> was <laughs> noted. Can you explain what was going on there? If there's any correlation? The frequencies of the rings of Saturn are, are shifting the frequencies within the collective, the sun consciousness was not a result of the attunement to the Saturn rings. The sun consciousness is responding to solar consciousness, uh, the celestial sun, the solar bodies, the source, the higher consciousness, the, the ones who are of source, who are of solar, the solar beings. There are many groups of solar beings, solar energies that are working for the shift. The Venetians who are working with Saturn rings as well as the extraterrestrial beings to tune the rings vibrations of Saturn. They are aware they are aware of the solar consciousness and the energies that are coming in they are working in combination uh, it was not one that was triggering the other it was very specific genome awakenings that they're working with 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 the rings of saturn it's very specific gene awakenings within the collective they're working with very specific intelligence uh it is it is very i'm just looking at the science it is a very intelligence it is very intelligence it is memory it is very specific that is bodies of knowledge the solar consciousness from the flares that are happening there's is expansions of energy centers chakras that are opening the higher vibrational fields and then the but the venetians and the extraterrestrials are intelligence and knowledge it is two different systems of energy they are working on but both are for the ascension Nice. Thank you. Can you tell how numbers and numerology are important for the universe? Explain the importance of those. It's different for every everybody. <laughs> the numbers, you can equate numbers to any type of geometric shape. Uh, it is sacred geometry. They'll have different angles and different numbers. And it is it is all related, but all is all is one, all is a circle, all is a, is a ball of energy. Just one second. Mm -hmm. Channel message for the kids. <laughs> I couldn't help uh, myself. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, that's exactly it. That's exactly. It. Okay. So, yeah, the, the numbers. Though. Okay. Can you tell about the financial system? Um, can it be like, oh, what's going to happen? What's, what does that look like? It's not going to be easy. There's going to be an inflation. Interest rates are going to be rising. Uh, costs of goods are already going up. It is uh, to depend less on things. It's going to be to do with things that you do not need. Do away with things that you do not need. Um, like a, yeah, it's not eventually. 
they're trying to create like a reset, but uh, and, and they might succeed um, in a couple of years with that. It's hard to say. It, it, it mm -hmm. looks like things are going to be on the rise. Prices are going to be on the rise. Inflation, mm -hmm. interest rates, it's, it's just going to be a difficult time. There's a lot of debts to pay back. I, they don't need... They don't even have a plan to pay back the debts. So they might just what, but they can't raise taxes. But they're raising, they're inflating prices. Uh, that's what they're doing. They're getting their money back. Mm -hmm. uh, and then inflation. Thank you. Um, is there anything specific about April twelfth? What will you? What we? What? Will we feel on that date? Let's see. see what you feel with this. It'll be similar to this. Very warm, loving energies are coming in. And it's like the planet is getting wrapped. With a really loving blanket. Uh, it is a loving energy. This is a good day. This is a good day. It's nice to know that's around the corner. Yeah. Thank you. Um, this is a question I would probably ask. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Our dark a matter and dark energy, um, better referred to as other matter, made up of thought. These oh, concepts yeah. of Dark matter and dark energy. Can you elaborate on that? It's made up of thought. It's made up of actions. The actions you do, uh, the thoughts you think. That mm, okay. Let's go higher. Let's go higher. Just connecting with the Elohim would just be easier for me to explain this. So thoughts and fears and things against the heart create densities within energetic fields. Demon consciousness was a result of many factors. It was dark beings who were born dark. It was dark energy who feed off of dark energy on an evolution process to become the light through many cycles. So they feed into people's dark energies to give them more dark energies, to give the experience of the third dimension or the second dimension. Very abusive patterns and abusive relationships are have demons involved. When you're strangling your partner, there's a demon involved. You would not strangle someone as being in love Let's understand this. There's more to it. There's more to it. That is one example. When you think dark and demonic thoughts towards somebody, you're creating a frequency tear, a lower vibration cord between you and this person. And it becomes a siphoning energy between you and them. They feel irritated by you. You feel irritated by them. That's why there's many confrontations. That's why there's many fights. It is an energetic cord and balance that you've created by thought. That's why to be mindful of the thought. For you are creating this anxiety. You're creating this problem even when there was not a problem because of a delusion, because of something that you thought, and then it made you angry, and it wasn't even true. So instead of being hasteful, be open, ask questions, talk to your partners, talk to your friends, talk through your problems. Do not create more problems. If there's not a problem there, 
Do not create it in your mind as you create these chords. And they make you confused. They make you insecure. They make you unsure. Why are you worrying about something that is not even there? Instead, when something comes up, just talk about it then. Sort through it with a kind heart and an open mind and a compromise where both people get what they want and it's done fairly. And nobody is hurt. Everybody's in agreement. And there's no chords created nor lower frequencies that create a tug, a division between two. It's when people end up splitting up, when people end up moving away, when people end up. It's because of these negative thoughts they have towards each other. It creates repulsive energy and it builds. And it builds inside of your energy. And your energy becomes unclean. So it's not healthy. It's advisable to stay away from it. Be open with your partners. Do not create mm -hmm. chords and not create scenarios of mistrust. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Um, can techniques like uh, spirit, uh, spiritual freedom tapping and other things help with karmic issues in the collective? Can people use these type of techniques for karmic issues in the collective? These have to be used with intentions. That's all. That is all. The intentions, the tapping, yes, because they're related. The strands are so connected within everybody, the strands of light. But if you are connected to the collective energies intentionally, it will become more difficult. So do not connect with the collective energies instead intend to do the healing on the collective energies with your intentions instead. It's much healthier. It is much safer for your energy. You don't want to take on collective fear or anger. It's, it's not healthy. It is not beneficial to you. It's not beneficial to them. It's not healthy. When you're not healthy, you're not helping anybody. So do not stay connected to the collective energy. Just stay connected to your energy. That is healthier. And you, when you are healthier, you are able to assist more. You can still assist and, 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 and work with the techniques of healing through the vibrations of the time, through the vibrations of their fields, not attached to them. You can clear them, not attached to them. Do not attach to them. Ask your higher self to assist you for the clearing for the collective by not being attached. And you'll be in a better state of mind You'll be at more peace. You'll be coming from a, a higher state of love and from a place of health, from a place of mental health. You become unstable when you attach to the collective energies. It's not. It is not a good idea. It's not advisable. Yeah, that you part's often overlooked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, is there guidance for a channel that would explain how to access the highest frequency of love and wisdom with the most complete perspective of oneness? That is a load of question. It is. <laughs> you would need to find a complete perspective of oneness within self first. Mm. The guidance has to come from within yourself. You have to heal your ancestors' past. You have to go through your Akashic records. You have to go through and heal the wounds of the past. You have to come into alignment with the love for yourself. You have to come into unity with love for all, for all people, no matter if they are the occult, the dark ones, oh. the demons, whoever it is, it is all for the experience, all the different states of experience. When you see 
the unity that all have the divine mother father spark within themselves you, then you become in love with everything then you become in love with everybody and then you are in true unity with all that is oh i love that that was like spot on thank you um can you answer if a uh, collective collectively more guides spirit guides are coming forward to guide and assist at this time there are more aspects of self coming in to guide angelic families of light are assisting much more more people on the planet than they have in a very long time so they're calling on other universal supports other universal they are creating more angels they are doing so much more now to assist everybody because there are so many awakenings so many requiring guides more guidance more higher selves are coming online walk-ins are coming in to switch out there is a lot happening right now to make sure that all goes and everybody has enough guidance including the aspects of yourself beings and higher vibrations in alternative realities who are masters who are you are coming in to assist you there are ones that you have worked with many many millenniums ago eons before earth other universes they're opening up to come and assist all of them they're all coming in to assist now this is the time when all shifts this is a great moment on the earth this is a great moment that has been worked for many 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 since the beginning of time this was envisioned it is why they knew that is why they knew in atlantis this time would come it is why they knew in lumeria it is that they knew this time even in the time of the titans this was a time that was always to be and it was not that it was not known but it is a great time it is a great shift excellent thank you um this is a fun question does any of this matter or is it about humanity uniting as one it's a the observer it matters to the observer if it matters to you then it matters if it doesn't matter to you then no it doesn't matter it's the uh, looseness of that rhetoric question um because everything everything matters everyone matters everyone is of mother father creator energies they all matter and not one will be left behind not one will be left behind all are being rescued all everyone is being rescued everybody is here to support the entire species the entire collective for everybody to send for the planet to send and it will in time not everybody ascends in this lifetime but all the ones who do ascend in this lifetime are going to be assisting at the higher levels in the following lifetimes it is a collective conscious effort for the, everybody to be rescued for everybody to return and it's all okay <laughs> it's all perfect um someone wanted to know who you were channeling I, f I could feel different bounces at different levels. Um, could you explain a couple who you're channeling? I'm in the Elohim frequencies of light, channeling the Elohim, and in angelic frequencies, channeling some of the archangels and higher self as well. Yes, thank you. I felt this bounce around a little bit. So, um, Is another global lockdown due? Maybe a different illness or another agenda. Um, from your perspective at this point in time, what do you notice? They are going to try. They're going to try. There will be there will be some revolting that happens. Uh, they are going to try another lockdown. They are trying to do things to create more fear. But what can they, people do to take their power back? To ignore everything that they are trying to get you to believe 
to try to get you to take away from your sovereignty, to try to get you to take away from your heart. Anything that is not love, ignore it and be on your path and purpose. It's all that matters. Everything is shifting. They have no choice. And there are big measures that are happening right now that are going to cause some massive energy that come into the planet that are going to shift so many of these beings that they are going to be leaving. And they're just going to be walk-ins coming in to take their places. So don't worry. It is being supported. They are being dealt with. They have been given time. And their time, it is running out. It is. It has been provided for and agreements with soul contracts and agreements of the timeline of the shift and so they will be leaving more will be coming in things will be coming easier do not worry that you're living in a reality that is doomed it's not the case it has all been orchestrated since the beginning of time for this to be a time of the great shift for things to become easier for the sovereignty to return for the consciousness to expand and for the hearts to shift within at a global scale, not at a small scale, at a planetary wide scale. That is what is happening and it's being fully supported by all the higher realms, by the universes is why you have all the support. And that is a Lyran aspect of self coming in. He is lying. Orange energies, Lyra. Atoma, May Atoma, May Atoma, his name. Yeah, another. Oh, sorry. So nice. He's a white lion. Love Lyra. I'm just asking. You can just, you can just feel the the Lyra energy, the, the the love of Lyra. I'm sure everybody can feel that right now. He's just sending his love over everybody right now. He's a beautiful Lyra and love energy. It's so nice. I'll be channeling him later. I just realized he was. It was connecting with me. Okay. All right. Can we send that out collectively to the people watching this or even watching this on the replay? Yeah, yeah, I did. did last time? Okay. Yeah, 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 they would have felt that for sure. Well, I didn't know if it was just me feeling it or. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah. Lyra, oh, the heart of us. Oh, it's just so beautiful. He was showing me there in a. I was just trying to tune into where this other planet uh, It's not Lyra, but he's Lyra. And, uh, it's, it's a planet that they've recolonized. I can see it. It's, it's very, it's got like a nature element to it. Uh, there are many of them there. They're happy. They've recolonized. Mm. Lyra, the Lyrans didn't die there. They're alive. This oh. is aspect. This is an, an aspect that's alive. Mm. Yeah. That's great. That's great to know. I always thought that they recolonize what do, what guidance do they have for us during this time from that perspective they you know there's they are saying that you done you have done so much you have already done so much it's all happening. You don't have to try so hard. Manifesting is going to be coming fast. Things are going to become easier. And all is being put in place. So you don't have to worry. It's not a hurdle or an obstacle. It is all happening. And it becomes easy. So just enjoy. Just relax. Just go be outside more, be outside more, 
out in nature more, connect with the elements, with your animals. Many have pets. We love pets. No matter we have pets as well. We are always playing together, enjoying our moments in time. There's so much love here. And there's so much love there. And your planet and your earth is beautiful. Just on all the places that you can go to and the things that you can see are worth the time to explore them. So just, just to go out and to do that. There's, there's so many opportunities to see beauty in nature. And mostly it's not that far away. Most people can walk or they can go on a short drive to see something miraculous. Because nature is, it is inspiring. It will inspire people. So it's just to take the moments to see the birds and the butterflies and and all that is divine. It is all there for you. It's just do not worry. Focus on that that love. That that is our advice. Is to focus on that nature connection, that nature connection, Mother Earth, that nature connection to all the beautiful and the beauty that is within the trees, within the fields, within the animals and the species all across your planet. Talk to them, play with them, your pets, your animals, your children. Uh, mm. is to be in nature. That is their advice. Thank you. I love that. Speaking of children, um, for the children coming in now, will their veil be lifted? Will they have a knowing? Many will. Yeah, definitely, yes. It's uh, yeah. Not not all of them have chosen to have the veil removed. Mm -hmm. um, Some wanted to advance naturally. There, they're showing me. It it is thousands thousands of, of extremely extremely gifted children coming into the world right now um, it's not millions it's not millions and they are specifically in places that oh, maybe I should not say that What is they're, they're they are holding the future grids. They're holding the future grids. This is the best way to put it. Yeah. Thank you for explaining that as well. Um, should we come out and expose ourselves? Basically, will the spirit realm protect us if we reach out to those who are lost or confused? He's asking to reach out to people who are asleep, people who mm -hmm. do not understand what is happening. Uh, they will find you. You do not need mm -hmm. to find them. You do not need to persuade them. But being you, the conversations will naturally occur between two. It is destined, as it is responding reality is responding to what you want to give to it so you will find people who are like you you'll find people who are open to the ideas that you're sharing it naturally it is not to find people who are and force it upon people who do not want that conversation it is not it's not the design the design is it will occur naturally you don't have to force it. They'll find you. You don't have to force vibration. A vibration attracts vibration is the way. Yeah. Wow. And never never underestimate the power of planting a seed. 
Uh, right. Yeah. Um, can you elaborate on what the autistic children are teaching us? It's a good question. They are very advanced. They are very in tune. They see many things uh, in math and in frequency that others do not see. They are tuning in to algorithms and problems and solving them in their mind they are very special. It's harder for them to communicate. Um, are they teaching you to recognize how special someone can be who has a difficulty in explaining it is an understanding and a knowing in that they are bringing in this knowledge that they are bringing in this problem solving and they are bringing in an awareness in frequencies and you understand this and although they may not be able to communicate everything and make logical sense to the logical mind it is teaching you about the emotional mind, the emotional feeling, the intuitive mind, the inner knowing. It is teaching you to be more intuitive as you and aware and aware. They're teaching a lot and they are, are very special. They are very special and intuitive, intuitive children. And they... We're also bringing in a dynamic here. Yeah. They have understandings of, of other universal structures as well. It would be very beneficial to get them to write down ideas that they have to get them to be creative in, in building things and identifying with uh, shapes. They understand a lot with shapes because it's sacred geometry. They understand a lot with structures, and it would be very beneficial. They are channeling in. <laughs> they are channeling in as, as, as channelers channel in. They are channeling in frequencies. They are channeling in knowledge. So they they are bringing in that they are bringing in data. They're bringing in data into this universe. That is very beneficial to the collective consciousness. I love that. Thank you. Great explanation. Um, can you tell what's happening with Russia and Ukraine at this time? What's going on behind the scenes? It is best not to attach to the division and the fear of any wars. Of any wars, it is not healthy. It never has been. It's always a divisional and a fear tactic. It is always a diversion. It is an atrocity. It is not the purpose of it. Is not an invasion it is a distraction it is a distraction and it is an invasion the, the purpose of it it is an agenda they have many people they have many people across the world who are fully aware of what they are organizing chaos they are organizing chaos intentionally do not give into it is not to give into it, to stay detached from it. Mm -hmm. I think we'll do one more, and then there's uh, well, some stuff coming in beyond that. So it's about the placebo effect, our power of belief. I talk about this all the time, but does the placebo effect both ways? Does it work both ways, the placebo effect? Like if you think the air is bad, it will be. <laughs> Can you talk about the power of belief? 
you want me to give this? How do you want me to give this answer to you? Uh, okay. From a uh, what do they you want to give it as a collective answer or as an individual answer? The individual answer. This person specifically is working on themselves. They are looking for answers to create new realities. They must believe. So yeah, it is and an individual answer. You need to believe in yourself more. You need to believe in yourself fully. Commit with your heart. You will find ways through the obstacles that you're facing. And that, uh, there's some challenges that are happening, of course. Uh, you'll overcome them. It's You're not limited to just somebody coming in. Why is this coming in? It's an individual answer. It's very close. So you, you just got to remove some of the limited beliefs that you still have. Um, and you'll push through um, whoever this is that's imposing their will on you. Uh, but anyway, at a collective level, the placebo, it's not a placebo, it is a matrix. It is an intelligence system, and there's, there, and it responds, it responds to your thoughts. So if you are thinking negatively about it, negatively is going to respond back to you. If you're thinking positively about it, positively it's going to respond back to you. If you are thinking about becoming a healer. It is going to respond back to you. Things are going to come to you that are going to teach you, are going to assist you to heal yourself. Because uh, you got to heal yourself first. Um, or have some people help you, and then you heal yourself, and then you're a healer. If you're thinking you're going to become an actor, things are going to come in your way, acting classes or uh, small additions, it, the matrix, it responds to you. But the belief, the belief, the more that you believe in yourself, the more, it is very cliche, but the more you will achieve it, the faster you will achieve it. Um, and 100%. It's like uh, in the hypnotherapy Matt is doing, Everybody, 100%, no doubts, believes in the deep trans that they are healing themselves, and they do. Um, but if you are a naysayer, you're never going to be open to the possibilities. Mm. So, I think that's applicable for a lot of people, though, too. Um, they're mm -hmm. they're chomping at the bit for whatever. I don't even know what I'm asking right now, but. Um, Something with a collective healing, it's like a dam's about to break. Uh, can you explain what's going on? And there's just a lot of a lot of friends here <laughs> assisting at this time. They are asking for a collective healing? Is that what they are asking? Yep. <laughs> okay. It's just like a, a dam, a river of energy coming in. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't even know what I'm saying, but that's how I'm seeing it. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and we will be channeling in from all the vibrations of love right now, coming in, and we'll connect, connect our hearts, energies, and we'll create this huge expansionary ball of light, and it's just going to keep expanding in everybody's fields, blasting through anything that is negative, any attachments all across the planet. We're just going to do a planetary clear of attachments, planetary clear of demonic energies, just clearing them off of people's energies so they're not being, uh, so that they can, and then we'll just go ahead and send these love energies and these love energies 
and these codes, all these codes that we have of self-love and all these codes of joy, and we'll just send them all around the planet to every soul. Obviously, we'll send them through Ukraine. We'll send them through Asia. We'll send them through everywhere. Everybody is in turmoil that are attaching to this war right now. So we'll just do a, a total collective war clearing right now, sending in waves of healing to all the hearts. It is a big love we are creating. We have a lot of support. Um, the Venetians are assisting us as well, uh, as well as um, the Syrians. I have many Syrians here who are bringing in love and the Lyrans, the whole, everybody that has been in this broadcast and everybody here and their galactic teams and their oversoul groups and the higher selves, all sending in this amazing love energy. And of course, the solar consciousness is coming in. And it's pure love. We're just sending it out to everybody and clearing everybody across the planet, flushing out the density off the grids, off of people's grids. Clearing off the lands, clearing off the children, and the families, and poverty, all the ones who are hurting. And we're going to send in miracles. We're going to send in miracle codes, codes of manifesting for magical ways of them finding food and water and finding houses. And we're just going to send in all these codes. We're going to send in the legions of angels from heaven's kingdom all throughout the collective because we can command angels if they are for good intentions and we're going to be thankful of them and thank them for coming over and swooshing down to assist all the children and all the parents who are living in poverty who are living homelessly who, who need love who need warmth who need miracles for all these miracles to manifest in their lives for these humans to take place And we're just going to, yeah, it's a beautiful light. It's just swooshing around as well. Very a divine feminine. Energies, codes for the divine feminine to come through to the masculines to awaken within the masculine consciousness across the planet. Codes of the divine feminine just streaming through. While we're connected here with all these angels, there's, we might as well awaken the divine feminine within mm -hmm. The masculines mm. across the planet here is open and opening and opening and clearing and clearing and clearing and clearing across the collective for that. So add in your intention right here. Uh, everyone, add in your intentions. Your combined intention is is powerful. Yeah, we have the Divine Mother in this field of light with us right now. So she, she's, she's assisting everybody as we're all connected. It's, it's like a family of light all around the planet, basically all is one, all connected, and we're, we're just assisting our brothers and our sisters and all across the planet in every country, in every city, in a state, province, continent. Even the waters, the, the dolphin, the flower energies, Gaia's energies, all this. Is here to assist in this clearing and this healing. And everybody watching right now as well are going to be receiving special heart activations from all this love energy that's here. For when you assist in healing the collective, you assist healing yourself. Mm. It is no separation. It is always two ways. So... And then what we'll do is we have this massive ball of light, right? It's all around the earth. So I'm just going to ask, what should we do with it? Okay, so we're going to take this ball that we've created now that's all around the earth, and we're going to let the higher selves of everybody continue to open and expand everybody across the planet. And with all the excess energy, we're going to take it into another bowl, and we're just going to send it into the core of Gaia to assist Gaia with her healing her trauma, with her wounds, 
and we're going to allow Gaia to take this energy, this surgence of energy, and just take it and redistribute it between all the inner grids, all the outer grids, mm-hmm. and we'll give it to her so we don't have this massive amount of energy overlapping. And uh, we'll, we'll dis- disconnect hearts now just with everybody who is watching and stuff. And uh, that was a really beautiful collective healing. A lot of energy grounding so we're just going to connect to the uh, tree collective right now uh, I'm just taking deep breath as you exhale exhale all this light into the ground out the soles of your feet I'm just going to do a quick grounding code here because that was a lot of light activate enhance amplify expand just allow it to just come out the soles of your feet Grounding, grounding, grounding. Think of trees, think of trees, think of water, think of vegetables. Mm. Just the feet and the energy going out the soles of your feet and grounding into Gaia, all this extra energy. And we're going to set intention right now that our higher selves and our oversoul groups allow us to integrate within everybody who's watching with ease and grace that it's not too much, not too much of an expansion at one time for one person. Huh. Oh, yeah, that was. Uh, I need to take some water after that one. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Wow, that was beautiful. Such a beautiful, what? loving life. <laughs> I somehow I'm in a different position than when I started. I, 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 I don't, don't know. know how I I don't know how I ended up way, way over there. It's like uh, my legs are shaking. I don't I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> but, yeah, I think everybody's gonna have a good sleep tonight. That's for yeah. sure. Oh my gosh! Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, if we didn't get to all the questions, like I said, we didn't answer any personal questions, and I tried to limit it to like two questions a person just to get through everyone's questions, so everyone had a chance to really. Um, chime in um if you want us to do more stuff like this i felt i thought this was really beneficial for everyone i i had no idea you never know what's going to come through but yeah it was simply amazing so thank you for everyone joining in um yeah all the people that stuck with us there's still like 60 people watching this so thank you guys for sticking it out with us and, and all your thanks input thanks for that collective uh, healing like great work everybody like that you'll get rewarded. You'll be surprised. Like you, you all have beautiful hearts, and when you reach out to the collective to help them like that, um, mm-hmm. it 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 will unlock so much for you. Like like it's, that's mm-hmm. the, the beautiful thing when you stay, and stay, stay in that vibration of love and having fun. Like like the the hard work with a lot of stuff is done. Like other people had mentioned in some of the comments, yeah, like we're talking about like yeah, we're supposed to have fun. You're supposed to enjoy this, <laughs> and we lose sight of that. We get so caught up in in some of the stuff that it's easy to lose sight of that so yeah i love that lyran thing though like when the uh when there's just, just like they get out in nature like and just connect oh, with yeah. the w- wildlife and the animals and if you have pets so yeah I, I never even thought they would have pets but they have pets and they and they're they're playing with them and everything and like and Earth is a beautiful place. Like yeah. some of the, some of the other places aren't as as amazing as Earth is. You have we have nature. <laughs> Look around. It's a, it's incredible, and it's a great way to um, be as close to to home without you know actually leaving here. So um, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Any any right. final words, David? Or <laughs> I think that's pretty darn good. <laughs> uh, final words. Yeah, just stay in your just stay in your heart. You know what? Like there's there's, there's a lot of stuff going on on the planet, and it seems like this year's going to be a bit. Uh, it could be some bumps, you know, with some changes and stuff. So it's just uh, you know, whatever you're doing, I mean, with your family, with your friends, with your, with your with your life. Like you're like not saying just have fun, be in your joy, and uh, tune off the news. Just forget about the news completely. Just cancel it. It's your best bet, really. Just cancel the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then all this stuff. I mean, if you hear about it in the periphery, it is happening. Things are shaking up for a reason. You don't have to know all the whys, but like a lot mm-hmm. of these are a lot of old things coming coming to the surface. And of course, it's going to get crunchy. It's going to get bumpy. But but you have you have yourself to go within and like to 
to be strong within yourself. So I always ask myself, do I have control over this now? Um, and you'd be amazed at what a, what a difference that makes when you when you start taking that power back. So. Yeah, very smart. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, David. I'm gonna need a nap after that. So. I know. I love that <laughs> clock of healing. It was awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, that was a great idea to interject the awakening of the divine feminine and the collective at the same time. Let's open up the male heart cell there to the divine feminine while we have this worldwide healing going on. Uh, Pull on those yeah. heartstrings a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's uh, so great. Uh, like yeah. I say to people, you couldn't make this stuff up, you know, after a while. It's just like, yeah. it's so cool to watch it and watch it play out in, in your own lives. You know, a lot of stuff is coming through. Take what resonates with you. Take how it like, how, it, how you relate to it. Um, I've noticed even with some of the stuff, it didn't make sense the first time I heard it. But, you know, it kind of planted that seed for me to come to my own truth and stuff. So I think that's, that's really powerful if you do, if you take that and approach to it so thank you again david um we're gonna sign off and then um yeah hopefully we'll see you in another one <laughs> thank you so uh, much for uh, season two of ask yeah, the universe <laughs> ask the universe <laughs> ask the universe <laughs> uh thank you guys for everyone joining us and um yeah we'll see you on the next one all right cool bye.